Is automatic video editing the future? With the rise of AI tools and features, will making all those little cuts and edits be obsolete soon? Or is it already? The great news is there's already a ton of apps out there that can save you hours of time when making long form or short content. But is it worth it? There will always be creators who want complete control of their final video or podcast. And they can make top tier content all the way from color grading every frame to equalizing every word. I think you'll see that kind of cinematic and film-like content come even more to platforms like YouTube as they aim to compete with Netflix. YouTube has already said more and more people are watching on their TVs, and they're making changes to YouTube channel appearance and features to make that experience even better. So the hyper-detailed, intricate editing will always have a place. But that takes hours and hours of work and likely require teams of people. But that's not the only way to make quality content. For all those solo creators, vertical video content makers, and podcasters, there are tools you can use today to make the most of every minute you record and save you hours in the editing room. So what tools can you use right now to expedite your content creation? Well, I host a weekly podcast, create multiple long-form YouTube videos every week, and post short-form videos across multiple platforms, and the only reason I'm able to generate that amount of content is because of tools like Riverside. For instance, here's my tech podcast where we post a new episode every week, and typically editing an hour-plus podcast episode would take more than an hour, probably several. But because of Riverside's full episode editor, and with the new tools called Workflows where I can even customize how I want my edit to appear, if I want to focus on the active speaker so it looks like it's switching via multiple cameras automatically, apply my brand, remove silence, remove filler words with our smooth speech tool, and more, I can customize this so every time I record an episode, I can just click one button, this generate button, and it's going to edit my podcast for me, cutting out silences, filler words, and just that fast, while I was talking, that full episode is ready, and then I can jump into the actual Riverside editor if I want to make any more tweaks. I know I know when we recorded this, I did a second take of the introduction. So I do want to edit that out. I see that right here at the beginning, that first take. I'm just going to select that text, click delete. I've edited my intro, and now I'm pretty much finished editing. If I zoom into the timeline, you'll see Riverside already used its Smart Scenes feature, which will focus on both me and my co-host, or just me if I'm speaking, or will just focus on my co-host automatically, and it did all of this for me in just a few seconds. It even generated chapter markers down here along the timeline. We were doing a year in review type episode, and it even understood the months and the topics that we were talking about. If there's any other moments that I had to edit out, I usually drop markers while we record, so I'll jump in, maybe cut a few more sentences, and that's it. I'm ready to export a full-length podcast episode over an hour in just a few minutes. And then when I go up to export, I can export it all the way up to 4K video quality, export video, and now I have a full-length podcast episode where I can share that on my YouTube channel and upload it to Spotify for creators as they support full-length video for shows as well. Now, what about short-form content? Whether you're creating solo videos, it's a podcast or interviews, you're gonna wanna share those vertical videos across TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, and Riverside can help with that too. You see here, I've already generated a bunch of vertical videos of this podcast, and just like we have a workflow for the full-length episode, you can set up a workflow for Magic Clips. I want them to be vertical, 9 by 16 focus on the active speaker, you can choose how long I typically want these to be, I like 30 to 60 seconds, apply our brand, which is a background, I could choose to set pace, which our remove silence feature can be customized, and I want it to be fast-paced, because vertical videos tend to go by pretty quickly. We have other tools like Magic Mute, which will mute people's tracks when they're not speaking, cutting down on background noise and distractions. And I can even choose to run this workflow automatically every time I record. So that's even less clicks. I literally stop recording and Riverside is going to generate these magic clips automatically. Now you'll see those magic clips are generating. And again, just in a few moments, I'm talking less than a minute, these clips are going to be available for me to share on social media and everywhere I'd like. And here we have our multiple clips. Let's jump into one to see what it looks like and if we want to make any other minor changes. You see it applied our brand, which is this background image. I like space between the videos and rounded corners, so it did that and it added my preferred caption style where I highlight the active word, and it's even gonna switch between me and my co-host or focusing on the active speaker, making this an engaging short. And Riverside has even more tools like our image overlay tool, so if I wanna add some images on top of me and my co-host speaking, you can do that in just a few seconds. Animated captions will stay on the very top, plus we even have text overlays, maybe you wanna put the chapter name, and we also have animation styles for text, allowing you to transition them in and out in visually engaging ways. And just like that, we're creating visually engaging shorts, animated captions, image and text overlays, all in just a few seconds. 
Now, in addition to the long form video and short form content, you might want to write a blog post, post a thread on social media. Well, Riverside has AI tools for that as well. If I go to the recording files for one of my podcast episodes, there's an option here called generate show notes. When I click that in just a few seconds, it's going to happen literally as I'm speaking that fast. I now have keywords where I can copy and paste in the YouTube video tags. I have a summary of the content. I can take this and use it for my podcast episode description, or maybe on a website or blog post takeaways from the episode. These are great to turn into social media posts and threads, possible titles, sound bites, and those chapter markers I have right here, which then I can paste in the YouTube video description to get automatic chapters there or on my podcast host episode description. So my listeners can have chapters as well. And there's even more tools in Riverside to help you create the best content possible. For instance, maybe you want to insert a quick ad for your merch or even a sponsor. You can actually generate an audio clip in your voice using our AI voice tool right here in Riverside and then insert it into your edit. And you can even upload video that you recorded maybe on your iPhone or Android device into your Riverside dashboard and still get that transcript, our editor, use magic clips, all on the content you recorded on your phone. But another great idea is to actually capture content using the Riverside app on your iPhone, Android device, or iPad. When you record with those apps, you can invite remote guests, you get those multiple tracks with a transcript that's labeled with speaker names, and you can now even edit on your mobile device and share clips without ever going to a computer. So that's the future, and honestly the present, of automatic video editing. If you want to learn more about recording on your mobile device and our editing tools in the Riverside app, check out this video right here. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I'll answer you personally using our AI tools or recording with Riverside in general. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button before you go. And if you're into live streaming, maybe you want to create webinars or game streaming or just live stream your podcast, Riverside has all those live streaming tools built into the platform as well. You can watch this video right here where I walk through all the features, connecting multiple social destinations, answering chats from all those platforms in one place, and more. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.